Uh, the first thing that we're gonna do today is a lunge to squat, okay? So again, TRX is super versatile in the fact that you can start low, meaning you can be regressed and then increase it. So everything that you do depends on the strap level. So the resistance and how far away you stand under the suspension trainer adds to the difficulty, right? So it's very good for regressed movements and it's also good for explosive and strength training movements. So you're gonna stand back, shoulder width apart at the thighs and the feet. You're gonna lunge backwards with one. So it's a reverse lunge. Drop the knee down, keep the knee at a 90 degree angle with the floor and your foot. So don't drag past the toe. Keep it right here, 90 degrees, 90 degrees. You're gonna come back up using your legs. You use the arms for support. Drop down into a deep squat. I want you to try to get past 90 degrees, building up that range of motion, okay? Back up, switch legs down into the lunge. Again, my elbows are fully extended right here. 90 degrees at the top and back down, boom, squat. And then so you can start getting a flow with it and just burn through them just like that, okay? We're gonna go for 10 of these. So reverse lunge, nice, and then squat. Boom, perfect. Now when you're doing your squat, try to stay on those heels, right? So if you come up on the toes, it's not gonna activate all the right muscles. Just hang on those heels when you come back up. Reverse leg, boom, and squat. Perfect, switch legs. So he's keeping his knees straight in a line. That's what we want. We don't want bowing out or bowing in. Now the faster you go, the more it's gonna burn, obviously. And again, that's what makes the suspension trainer so cool. It's at your own pace, at your own level. Boom, straight, 90 degrees, nice. All right, perfect, good work. 